Epilogue, A Journey of Empathy. The months had passed since that fateful decision, and the apartment that had once been a hub of research and transformation was now a testament to the power of empathy and the resilience of the human spirit. It was a place where Alex had embarked on a journey that had challenged societal norms, redefined his identity, and deepened the bond with his sister, Emma. The apartment's living room, once cluttered with research materials and workout equipment, had returned to a semblance of normalcy. Books lined the shelves, each one a reminder of the knowledge they had gained during their transformative journey. Laptops sat on the coffee table, filled with notes and reflections, a digital archive of their experiences. Alex's appearance had undergone a remarkable transformation. His physique had become leaner and more feminine, a testament to the dedication he had poured into workouts and hormone therapy. The mirror that had once been a source of self-doubt was now a reflection of empowerment, a symbol of the journey he had undertaken. But the transformation was not just physical. It extended to the way he carried himself, the way he interacted with the world, and the way he approached his role as an executive secretary at Global Tech Solutions. With Emma's guidance, he had learned to navigate the nuances of feminine gestures and expressions, infusing his interactions with authenticity and grace. As he walked through the city streets, Alex could feel the weight of his transformation. It wasn't just the clothes he wore or the makeup he applied, it was the profound shift in identity that had reshaped his perception of self and the world around him. His role at Global Tech Solutions had evolved as well. He had seamlessly integrated into the team, becoming a vital link in the company's operations. His organizational skills, honed through years of programming, had found a new purpose in managing schedules and facilitating communication between senior executives. The interactions with his colleagues had also evolved. While some had initially met his transformation with curiosity and uncertainty, they had gradually come to appreciate the unique perspective he brought to the table. He was no longer just a programmer buried in lines of code, he was a woman who had defied norms and expectations, challenging their preconceived notions. Sarah, his friend and colleague, had been a pillar of support throughout the journey. She had not only stood by him but had also become a confidant, sharing her own experiences and insights into the corporate world. Their friendship had deepened, a testament to the power of empathy and understanding. One afternoon, as they sat in the office cafeteria, Sarah leaned in and said, Alex, I've seen you go through this incredible transformation, and I have to say, it's been inspiring. You've not only embraced a new identity, but you've also challenged the way we think about gender in the workplace. Alex smiled, touched by her words. Thank you, Sarah. This journey has been transformative in more ways than I could have imagined. It's taught me the power of empathy, the importance of breaking down barriers, and the richness of embracing diversity. Their conversations often extended beyond the confines of the office. They discussed gender diversity, inclusion, and the evolving landscape of gender identity in professional settings. It was a dialogue that was both enlightening and challenging, a reflection of the changing times and the role they played in shaping a more inclusive world. Outside of work, Alex and Emma continued to support each other in their personal journeys. Emma, inspired by her brother's courage, had become an advocate for gender diversity in her field of biology. She had engaged in discussions and research that aimed to bridge the gap between science and identity, exploring the biological aspects of gender with empathy and sensitivity. Their apartment's balcony, which had witnessed countless conversations, became a space of reflection and connection. As they gazed out at the city lights, they contemplated not only their personal journeys but also the broader implications of their experiences. They spoke about the societal constructs that dictated gender roles and the importance of challenging these norms to create a more inclusive world. One evening, as they watched the sunset paint the sky in hues of orange and pink, Emma said, Alex, your journey has been a testament to the power of empathy and resilience. You've not only transformed yourself but have also inspired those around you to question norms and embrace diversity. Alex nodded, a sense of fulfillment washing over him. Emma, I've learned that empathy is a powerful force for change. It's not just about understanding, it's about actively seeking to understand and support others in their journeys. Their conversations continued late into the night, echoing with the themes of empathy, transformation, and the boundless possibilities that came with challenging norms. They were no longer just siblings, they were allies on a journey of empowerment, understanding, and growth. 
As the months turned into years, the apartment remained a symbol of their transformative journey, a journey that had begun with a desperate decision, evolved through a bold plan, deepened through a transformative bond, and culminated in a journey of empathy and empowerment. And as they looked out at the city below, they knew that their journey was far from over. It was a journey that would continue to unfold, a testament to the power of resilience, the depth of understanding, and the infinite potential of the human spirit. This concludes the story of, How I Became a Secretary. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey of transformation and understanding.